Oh, for real. He don't have to. He do sit down comedy on his own show. Oh, that one. And he going to keep it all the way real. Like, all the way. I don't think you're ready. So he probably going to be saying... I don't. I think this What's is fake too. What's your phone doing? What, let me check your phone. Ooh. Mine's off. Cause you gotta let me see your phone. Ain't no one on the show. No, let me see the phone, Lamar. Just turn it off, Lamar. Yeah, cause this gonna be real. Could look at his own. Real slow getting it. Yeah, Lamar. Give her the phone. And it was definitely on ring. See that? Oh Lord. People that have been calling during our good interview. This is the best mm-hmm. one you're gonna be in half. So. Period. <laughs> Can you hurry up with those? Um, it's like nuts. But hold on, Lamar, getting this coffee together. Oh. It's so funny. Mm. He got his coffee, and I got a story on it. <laughs> oh, that pose. <laughs> oh, oh. Hold that Start thought. all that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not the way he intended it. <laughs> nah. Because you didn't put three in there so the far. Now, huh? How, how many Get you got the in there? Three, four. Okay. I'm going heavy on the cream right now. Right? Are you That's done? Opportunity. I'm done. Rolling, Lamar. You're ready. I'm ready. Still get tell when you're ready. Have you done this before? <laughs> a couple Have you of ever times. been interviewed before? <laughs> a couple of times. Yeah, I just saw you in the interview. Mm. Do I have to look in the camera? Oh, I see myself. Okay. You want to make eye contact. Let me Got it. We all all right? Yeah, we're all good. Ready? All right. Okay. Welcome back to the... One more time. Welcome back to Dish Nation. Now, we have a very special guest here today, honey, to dish with me, the former NBA player and now author, Lamar Odom, and his lovely girlfriend, Miss Sabrina Parr, health and life coach. Now... How are you guys doing today? Let me do that again. I don't like because I, I didn't know her name was in there. I put it in there and then it was already in there. Okay. okay. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Easy on the oh, coffee. Oh. I need it to work. Got a mind of it's it's it does. Oh, Lord. I'm looking for you all night. I'm just going to this morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> I get up extra early looking for you. I know. He has separation Ready? anxiety. Welcome back to Dish Nation. We have a very special guest here to dish with me today, former NBA player and now author Lamar Odom and his lovely girlfriend, health and life coach, Miss Sabrina Parr. How you guys doing this morning? Beautiful. We're doing great. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I mean, y'all were late, but you're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we all here. Hey, it was Gary. her fault. Uh, well, I mean, no, but it that, was but, my fault. Yeah, but, you, you know, know what happened, though? When uh, you told me we were switching from <coughs> radio to TV, yeah. I had to get my face and my exactly. hair and... And you're looking cute, too, honey. Thank you. As so always. it was worth the wait. That's right, honey. She Lamar, how are you? Cute. I'm great. What you were saying? She's always looking great. All right, now. All right, there <laughs> you go, Sabrina. So now, Lamar, there was something. We're going to just go ahead and get started. But no, you know what? First of all, before we get started, I want to just tell the people how I met y'all. We were oh. at Walmart. Yeah. Yes. On a Sunday morning. That's right. Yes. Buying groceries. I said, well, let me get up and go to Walmart so I don't have to see no damn body and Go through all the mess and whatever. Yeah. That's how we felt. And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. then we go run into Jessica. Yeah. I don't like Lamar. Mm-hmm. You know, we would have been talking to Jessica Marina. You know, say that's Lamar. I was and, you like, know. that man look familiar. Yeah, and there you have it. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are today. Yeah. Wow. All right, now, so Lamar, we're going to just get started. We're going to just cut the chase and go to all this madness. Honey. <laughs> there was some controversy that was recently posted. Y'all expressing your love to Sabrina. Mm. Now they're saying y'all it's going too fast. Yeah. Yeah. In the Lamar, cup. Put the cup down. <laughs> Give me this coffee. I'll put it away. You don't even drink it. I'm done with it. Leave it there, though. No, because you know you can't grab it. You're going to grab it, Lamar. Right. See how quick she flipped? She did flip. No, I did not flip. But this is your, your this is a lot. Yeah, this is a big Dish Nation interview, Lamar. Cover yourself accordingly. I'm with it. You already very monotone and low yeah. as it is. They were making fun of you online yesterday, by the way. Ooh. 
the world. Oh, we start <laughs> because you did. Okay, okay. So, okay Hashtag so, speak so up, up, and no one could hear you. <laughs> when you and Rosh did a video together, no one could hear what you were saying, but you were talking about speaking and using your voice, and nobody could hear you. That it was very ironic. So be mindful that no one can hear you. This is Lamar. Speak in the mic. Speak like as if you're high. Like this. Mic check. Like is this that. good now? That was perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Better? That's yeah. better. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Lamar, now there was some controversy, honey, recently over Instagram posts that you made expressing your love for Sabrina. Now they're saying you basically said that it's just like when you got some coffee. That's too black, <laughs> which yeah. means it's strong. And people felt, you know, that, hey, that you were kind of probably making some shade or throwing some shade, honey, toward, um, oh, now this teleprompter tonight, cute. I'm going to just read it from the paper, honey. Yeah, yeah that, that just read it from cute. the paper, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just do you. Okay, thank you. All right, now, so, Lamar, there was some controversy. And, you know, going up, people were talking about that, you know, you probably were throwing some shade on Instagram on this post. Now, they're saying yeah, that you made, you know, you were expressing your love to Sabrina, that you basically said that it's just like when you've got some coffee too black, which means it's strong. And people felt that you were shading Chloe. So, now, what was that about? And uh, what's, people said, Sabrina, maybe you were controlling his Instagram. So, what was the deal? Which is insane. No, she doesn't that's control insane. my Instagram. So all. what did that mean? I was just saying how I felt at the time. Talk up, Lamar. Don't talk sexy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be sexy. But I was just saying how I felt at the time. You know what I'm saying? I got this beautiful black woman who's... You're whispering. ...helping me tremendously in every aspect of life. And I'm just proud of it. Now, with that being said, now some people try to say that the relationship is not real. I know it's real because when I saw y'all. Which is also ridiculous. Yeah. Grocery shopping. So, I mean, how do y'all answer that? Well, I don't think Lamar answers to it at all. Um, I've been doing most of the answering. Um, it's almost disheartening, you know, because, first of all, this is new news to the world. Mm -hmm. We've been dating. And we've been doing it in our, you know, in our own world. People that are involved in our lives are with us every day, you know? And so it's like for us to have shared so much intimacy and working on growing and then someone to say it's fake, you know, like I said, it's disheartening because it's ex it's probably the realest thing he's ever experienced. And that's no shade to anyone. Oh, I was going to say that. Um, but it's just... But that means you're doing something right. Yes. Yeah. Doing something right. You know, people... Doing something I mean, good. you know the rumors, the, the things that are true and the things that are untrue about Lamar. It's a lot that's been that has been said about him. Mm -hmm. But if you really think about it, Lamar was a struggling addict. You know, he wasn't very conscious, mm -hmm. you know, of what was going on around him. He wasn't very conscious of what he was doing. I mean, what drug addict is? Let's just be honest. Let's call, yeah, it, exactly. call it what it is. So now that he's clean and sober, he can finally see and be aware of his relationship and just everything he's doing. So that's why I'm saying it's the realest thing he has experienced and there's no shade to anyone in particular because he is different now. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I can see that, Lamar. I, I mean, you know, behind every strong black man, there mm -hmm. needs to be a strong black woman. I mean, no yeah. race, shade, or whatever. But I could tell Sabrina, honey, I'm looking at Sabrina from when I met y'all. Mm -hmm. She's definitely strong, and she's what you need. Yeah, no, she's a fighter. Oh, yeah, we she's could tell, fighter, baby. Yeah. Honey. <laughs> yeah, I don't fight him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Me, yeah, you know, we could tell. And, 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 and I think it's good, though. I mean, it seems like, you know, that, you know, She's helping. She pushed you. Yeah, she definitely pushed me. So what? So with that being said, she what holds makes me accountable? She, uh, she, okay, yes, yeah, you hold them yes. accountable. Yeah. Yes, yes, and you need to be held accountable, right? Yeah, yeah we all need to be held accountable. That's a fact. So what makes this relationship different from you know previous relationships? Less nagging. I mean, this one. Mm hmm. Um, is the truth. She's black. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? All them other different relationships would. And other ones let you do what you wanted to do? Yeah, you just have your way. Mm -hmm. The black woman will come along and ain't playing that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I was not playing <laughs> at all. No, she keep it real. No, she at all. She keep it real. Mm -hmm. um, if I was to answer the same question, because, you know, I'm previously married and divorced myself, um, this relationship is different for me because he is not intimidated of me at all. Mm -hmm. You know, I know how I come across, and I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. Um, he embraced it. He actually said to me he needs someone aggressive because he's so laid back and passive. And men, you know, that I have dated have wanted me to always tone myself down because 
it was making them look small, mm-hmm. you know, instead of leveling up and just accepting, you know, my position. Yeah, you got to be a strong, confident dude to be around this. Woman. Yes. Yeah, and she can't um, tell you down because you big already. <laughs> but, <no. laughs> yeah. but I'm, no, I I've been coached all my life, and I know when I'm getting better at something. You know, so I think I'm getting better at life. Oh, that's around this girl. Okay. So sorry. <laughs> sorry. We want right. to hear you, Lamar. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all right. Mine's all good. Y'all know you got low mics in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we mic. got a small budget. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm playing, okay. All right. So um, the big three, now you were recently um, participating in the big three, the big basketball challenge, what have you, yeah. and then that just abruptly ended. Yeah. What happened? My back. You have back problems? Yeah, a little arthritis in my back. So he decided to let me go. Yeah. But that's all right because bigger and better things came my way. Exactly. I remember when you were with Dallas, the Mavericks, because I lived in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And I remember when you were with Dallas. And we got a lot of people that love the Lakers here. Yeah. So I don't follow basketball that much. You don't? No. Oh. You didn't play? <laughs> <laughs> no. And I mean, so, but I know about the sports, but I just didn't play the sports or yeah. whatever. But I knew, yeah. you know. That's good. So what else? I mean, so you're not angry with nobody? Um, no. Dr. Dre and all no, of them? No, no. Love is, love is love. Dr. And, um, <laughs> Are you part of it, too? No. Wish just ice cube. <laughs> no, ice cube. <laughs> I knew it was one of them rappers. No, I wish them um, all success. Mm-hmm. Hope they do well. I was a little angry, to be really? honest, because they didn't contact him directly. He had to find out on Instagram that he was released. Well, they did. You, so who, it was somebody um did the same thing in a relationship already and did it through Instagram. Yeah, so it was like... In the relationship. Yeah, they just told their friend, like, girl, we threw through Instagram because they didn't want to see him in person. I guess like the big three did because that was tacky. Yeah, it was, very, <laughs> it was very tacky. And then when he tried to reach out and his manager, Zool, tried to reach out, no one wanted to respond. Um, they were just giving him the runaround, saying it was somebody else's on a higher level's decision. It was almost like they used him because, let's be honest, a lot of people only found out about the big three because of Lamar was participating. Yeah. And so they used him for press, for his name, and it was kind of like, oh, well, he can't play right now because he's hurt, so we can throw him away. We've already got the recognition that we wanted. And I just thought it was very distasteful, so I was upset. It was. I mean, that was heck. Y'all all were friends, huh? Yeah, I mean, this is why I love that this lady right here. She's incredible. But then on another level, let's just be honest. So those type of things, Lamar is a basketball player. Yeah. Did you get to hear that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar is a basketball player. So just think about if you're a basketball player at heart and then you're released from the thing that you want to do the most in the way that they released you, that can cause a lot of disturbance with you emotionally. Yeah. And we were already dealing with a man that was struggling with mental health. So to me, it, that that's a trigger, you know, because it's like you worked your way to get back on the court and then they take that from you without even telling you or giving you a reason. Mm-hmm. So I was concerned, like, well, do you guys care about this man at all? Because you know he's not the most healthy, you know. And what about if he falls off, you know. And he did have a short period where he was just questioning himself and just trying to figure out, like, why did this happen? And I finally got back to get on the court. I mean, to go through all he went through and still have the ability to even be considered to play. Another fight I'm going to win. You know, so now it's more to prove and just more, you know, Motivation. uh, motivation for him to get better. With your mental health, I take Makes lithium. Makes me run a mile a day. Yeah. There you go. You run a mile a day? Yeah, with this I've one. been making him run a mile a day. That's life coaching. Yeah. You need to run a mile. Yeah. <laughs> run, OJ. <Yeah. laughs> so, Lamar, I was telling you, um, I take lithium because I'm bipolar. What? Lithium. Have you heard of lithium? No. It's for bipolar. Okay. And that's what I, and mental health. Yeah. And that's what I take. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with mental health, you know. No, but mental health is important. Very important. Yeah. If your dome don't tick right, nothing will go right for you. Exactly. So, I mean, if you ain't right, on Sabrina, get you in check. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I exercise for my mental health. Really? Yeah, but, well, you know, endorphins are released when yeah. you work out, and it, that chemical, it works. Oh, yeah, I do the treadmill. I just do the treadmill yes, for 20 minutes. that works for me. I need and to get my workout in to start my day, to feel no anxiety, to just be calm. Mm-hmm. And I've been doing that for years, and that's the best thing that works for me. Yeah. So, Lamar, let's talk about that, um, this drug test and this fake penis. 
What you about those hair? Did you read the book? No, oh, well, we, uh-huh. <laughs> we need to do that. I'm like, where'd you get that from? So, I mean, so did you put it in your pants or how did that work? I just, you know, zipped it up under, under my shorts, just strapped it on. And it was full of urine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just squeeze it and the piss come out. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. <laughs> but I always wanted to play in the Olympics, so it was yeah. whatever I had to do. And it just... It worked. For that time. Yeah. All right. Maybe more people need to do that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't condone that. So what do you think about the, um, the, the guy that did that recently? He used the fake urine, his girlfriend's urine, and he wound up being pregnant. He got caught. Yeah. Mm. They told him he was pregnant. <laughs> when a man get pregnant? Your piss is clean, wow. but you're pregnant. I didn't even hear about that. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. Girl, the sports player, he what used sport his, was that? Football? I think it was football, of course. It had to be football. So, and he used his um, girlfriend's urine. Oh, it was basketball, basketball too? Oh, it was mm, basketball too. Oh, wow. Damn. It's getting interesting. That's embarrassing, Or just too. get clean, you know, or just deal with the addiction. He was Ohio. He was an Ohio player. Ohio player? Mm-hmm. Ohio University player. So. Mm. All right, so, okay. So, Sabrina, honey, lovely Sabrina. Here, you know, we got, um, I got some questions, honey, for you, and I know you ain't got no problem with accident, but first. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> ain't got no problem with talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did y'all meet? How did you and Lamar meet? My story. Okay, so. Your um, story is my story. It's not. So we met, we were out in Atlanta. I have no idea what he was doing in Atlanta um, because he was not living here. Um, But we were out and I saw him. I did not know him. This is a true story. I didn't know Lamar. Girl, you didn't know Lamar? No, I didn't know him personally. Oh, know him, know him, yeah. Right, I've seen him. You know, I've lived in L.A. I've seen him a lot. Um, And I've never been drawn to him um, before. So I'm going to be honest here. Forget what he's talking about. So um, I was with my girlfriend, and I saw him. Obviously, he stood out. He's 6'10", and it was very crowded, and I went up to him and just stood there. This yeah, we, is was very... see, we was going to see Lil Baby that night. Yes, we were going to see Lil Baby. Oh. Not together, but that but was what we were concert. at the venue for. And um, so in my mind, you know, like, like I'm the prize to me, right? You yeah. know, so in my mind, I'm like, Lamar will be honored to stand next to me. Like, this is my attitude. I'm not saying this, she but, like, balls. that's my projection, you know? Mm-hmm. So I just, me and my girl just go stand right next to him, and, like, it's like a strategy, you know? And I didn't know what my game plan was. I just was drawn to him. And so he looked down, and he spoke to me, and then he asked what my name was, and I kept looking forward. Like, I didn't want him to think it was about him at all. Mm. And so eventually, over time, you know, he asked, um, did I want to come in with him, you know, so we can hang out at the concert together. And I said, sure. So my plan was to make him think it was his idea, you know, Mm. not my idea. And so um, as the night went on, we we had a good time. We initially clicked. It was very weird because, you know, this is not my first time encountering, you know, a star or just anybody Mm. that is well known. And we just had like instant chemistry. And then, um, so this particular night, a lot of people were speaking to me. At the gym that I um, train at, there's a lot of reality stars and just Um. different type of people. So they were all waving at me and saying hello. The guy on the microphone shouted me out. I just looked really popular for some reason in that moment. And so he was like, who are you? You know, and I was like, Sabrina, you know. And he was like, why do these people know you? Like, how many followers do you have? He's trying to figure out, like, who I am. You know, and I'm just like. what? Yeah, or something, you know. And so I was. So I was like, I'm I'm just Sabrina, you know. And so I don't know how basketball came about. Um, His friend brought it up or something, but I play basketball too. You know, I'm an athlete. Mm. So um, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm hooping tomorrow. You know, y'all should come. And he was like, you don't hoop. And so I opened my Instagram page and showed him, like, just a video of just me, like, um, practicing some drills. And so he was like, oh, you hoop. And I was like, yeah, I told you. And so, like, him and his boy had, like, a moment, like a guy moment. Mm. They walked away. They're like, we'll be right back. And they took my phone with them. And they're whispering and, like, in a whole huddle, right? And so they come back and they're like, you're what we've been looking for. Like, we're here looking for a facility for Lamar to practice at, to get back into shape. And he was like, would you be able to help me with this? I said, yeah, I'm a trainer. It's what I do. You know, like, these are my guys. I can set you up. And he was like, are you serious? This is the type of stuff I need to be doing. You know, like, my mind is not the same. and It's not connected with my body. And, you know, I'm playing with the big three. And I need to, you know, so I'm just like, sure, let me know when you're ready, you know. So um, 
Days later, he contacts me, um, and he kind of follows up with the whole offer. Mm -hmm. And so I said, sure, let's meet tomorrow, meet me at the gym. Um, I had him set up with, and it was paid for, chiropractor, relief therapist, two basketball trainers. Um, so, um, you know, had it all set up. And so I think he was just impressed that I was willing mm. to help him. No sex was involved, you mm. know, none of that. He did not. What? I didn't hit. He did not. Well, she I wouldn't let you wait. hit not right there. You had to wait, Lamar. You <laughs> I can't just make him wait. She ain't Chloe. You can't <laughs> hit on the first day. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't well, know. Chloe but, didn't let but, me hit on the first day. Oh, no, sorry. I made him wait. And we spent the night with each other several times, at least for like two weeks. And I still was like. Well, so, so tell me this then. With all that knowing what Lamar, you know, been through and what have you. I mean, so what made you give him a chance? You just thought that, you know, maybe he's a nice guy. Oh, no, we're chance. more alike than we're different. Yeah. Um, you know, I grew up with... Um... Oh, okay. All right. So, um, so Sabrina, with you knowing, you know, um, Lamar's past and all the stuff yes. that he's been through and what have you, what made you give him a chance? I mean, because some people say, oh, I ain't dating him, huh? You know, but you gave him a chance. Sometimes pain, I think, attracts women. Pain? Yeah. Like what kind of pain? The pain that I've been through. Well, that wasn't okay. my story. I was not attracted to the pain right. and the drama. So you were empathetic or sympathetic with him? You I know can empathize I mean? with him because we're more alike than we're different. I have yeah. my own past, and I've had my own struggles. Um, but more so than anything, everything that he went through was a rumor. I wasn't there. I didn't experience it. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get to know Lamar the person himself. Yeah. And if he would have shown me severe signs of the rumors that I've heard, mm -hmm. I probably would have ran away. Yeah. But Lamar was instantly committed sweet to me um it was almost shocking like have you dated anyone before <laughs> like okay no seriously like a wounded animal you just yes. picked him up and, like, okay. and, <laughs> but i also understand like you have to meet people where they are you know yeah. like he was never in a position to be someone's husband you know he was sick he needed to heal he needed to grieve he experienced a lot of losses and he never had time to go through that so i knew with my resources and my personality and my attitude i could help him you yeah. know, and initially, a woman is a helpmate. Exactly. You know, so... She was made to be a helpmate exactly. for real. If mm -hmm. I'm not helping him, then I'm hurting him. You know, so I couldn't just say, just be with me and be faithful to me, and that's all that matters. You know, like, heal your mind and your heart first, and then let's see what you can become. You are a life coach. I'm hearing it. No, she is. Yeah, I'm... She's I mean, incredible. Yeah, I'm hearing it. So would y'all be open to, like, to do a reality show? I mean... I'm, We're definitely open to it. Obviously. Yeah, yes. I mean, I, I think y'all could do a reality show. That would be cool. I think it'd be pretty good too. Hmm. So Lamar, the book, "Darkness to Light," yeah, the memoir. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Um, well, it's my life story. Um, it's really graphic. Um, and it's truthful. Yeah, but it's the truth. And I, I thought it was the perfect time for me to um, have that um, therapy session mm. and just share it. It was extremely therapeutic. Yeah, so we haven't spoke yet about Chloe, and we're not going to talk much about her, but we want to talk about her. <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, so, <laughs> so, so, so it, <laughs> Chloe, I mean, I, I read somewhere you said you still cared, you still liked her, at least how you loved her, you know, even though y'all moved on. Yeah, I've definitely moved on. So have you met obvious. Chloe, Sabrina? I have not met Chloe yet. So are you going to introduce Chloe to Sabrina when um, y'all get married? I mean, I haven't even, I haven't <laughs> been around Chloe here. or seen her in years. So yeah, yeah, you know, if it comes or if it happens organically, then you know. Is it true that the Kardashians put you in a spell? Hell no. Oh, they didn't. <laughs> nah, oh. I'm here and I'm alert. I'm present. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm present. Yeah. Well, that's good. I knew what I was getting myself into. They always did right by me, as far as I know. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, because I thought it was... So, so, Sabrina, do you have any kids? I do. I have two kids. You have two kids. And, Lamar, you have kids, right? Yeah, I have two. One so, in heaven. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that. That's all right. So, do you ever um, wonder, why, why Chloe didn't have a baby for me and she went to this other Negro? Nah. I mean, the past is the past, you know. She's, she'll be a good mother because she took care of me. She took care of a, gr a grown man. So oh, yeah. I know she'll be a great mother. And then there came Sabrina. She's taking care of a grown man. Facts. She's doing well, a Well, I'm good also job. helping him to learn how to take care of himself. That's good, too, Sabrina. That's good. Because I may not always be here, and he needs to learn how to do these things on his own. Yeah, she caught me when I was making that turn. 
You know what I mean? As far as wanting to change my life. And that's good. Yeah. Yes. So I guess we met at the right time. So you ever think about getting married? Y'all ever thought about y'all could get married and make Sabrina Sabrina Parr Odom? Um, that's too long of a pause. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think before I talk. Oh well, that's nah, Sabrina. That's a good teaching. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, if it happens, it happens. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to block a blessing. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? So do you want to block her from blessing from marrying you because of all the shit you went through? I mean, I I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Please if, explain that. If that blessing, if I'm still on the mic. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, if that blessing comes upon me, then I hope I make the right decision. But you said you you don't want to block I, it. Yeah, I hope I wouldn't make the wrong decision. Oh, okay. Well, I'm dating to marry. Okay. So, uh, that that's the only reason why that I date. So he knows that. Mm-hmm. He knows that. Hence <laughs> yeah. why I have boundaries. I refuse to live with him. Um, I have a lot of boundaries. Like, and I'm that's very, good. I'm very old school. I that's good. To. He does need it. Or he would run all over me and it would be chaos. Mm-hmm. And he'd be reading about you in the press, honey, just like the other ones that's crying. Exactly. No. exactly. They all crying. They are crying. <laughs> to me, him, whoever is listening. No. Okay. <laughs> all right, honey. So, um, want to go to the rapid fire now? Um, Okay. So we got a uh, little game called Rapid Fire. Okay. Oh man. You know, so can I not, think during these questions, mm-hmm. or I have to answer fast? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you don't you have just, yeah. No, and it's, it's simple though, Lamar. This is not a trick. This is simple. Right. Rapid Fire. Just answer them as quickly as you can. All right. And can we do? We, are we doing it with both of them? Or are we? Do, and this is with both of y'all, Sabrina. Okay. So first question: Favorite place you like to eat? Roscoe's. Oh wow! In what city? Favorite place, Sabrina. Okay, so here in Atlanta, I like to eat at the Auto Spa Bistro. Who? What? You've never Auto been Spot there? Auto Spa Bistro. We get the car wash and get oh a good meal. Oh, my God. So it's a oh, car yeah. wash, but has a really nice restaurant. So you eat really good food. It has a bar, hookah, everything, while your car is being washed and detailed. Everyone goes there. Girl, you got to go. I'm going to yeah, take you. Yeah. No, you'll love it. Yeah, because I can bring my car. Okay. No, seriously. <laughs> okay. Favorite thing to do on your spare time? Run. Uh, watch movies. Okay, y'all both bored. <laughs> <laughs> you want us to lie? Vacay, vacay, vacay for me. Yeah, Fair vacay. time. So where was y'all first date? Oh, wow, that's a good question. First date. Um, what do you consider a date? Whatever y'all consider a date. Was it the, um, the, the brunch thing you supported with me? Was that considered a date? Yeah, at your, your brunch. Yeah, so I was hosting, hosting a brunch. brunch. It was like a fitness brunch. Yeah. And um, he came to support me in that. And uh, it was weird because everyone was like, why is Lamar Odom here? Okay. <laughs> That's this woman. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Were you my woman at that time? No, no I was not. Was, that was my plan, though. Oh, you see? Yeah, but he win. was putting in the work, you know, because mm-hmm. he was like, well, let's do that. I said, no, I'm doing this, and if you want to see me, you have to come to this. All so right. It worked out. Mm-hmm. All right, last question. First place y'all got busy with each other? Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, he knew that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, where in Charlotte? Are y'all with Charlotte or are y'all in Charlotte? We were in, in Charlotte. Oh, uh, yeah. Three, I for was one there. of these games. Oh, uh-huh. all right, now. Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, y'all. Okay, so we read it now. Stuff. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they say that relationship was fake. Yeah, we can talk about, talk about whatever you want. This is his idea. Uh-oh. And I want him to- <laughs> okay, so so Lamar, you have, so come you ready? So Lamar, you have a shirt. I mean, uh, uh, you have a um, you're an entrepreneur. Yes, <laughs> you're the <doing entrepreneurial. laughs> entrepreneur. So what's going on? What which what's, what what are you creative, promoting? My my creative mind was thinking. Our black matters. Our black love matters. Yeah. Oh well, that's uh, huh. Facts, right? You're not offending nobody, huh? No, hell no. Okay, we don't want Chloe offended. I mean, no, I'm sorry. She's probably going to wear it, too. (laughs) (laughs) She loves black men. (laughs) That's a nice shirt, though. So you create that for everybody. Yeah, so did you bring me one? Soon. Soon. Okay. Soon. We get more Saturday. Oh, okay. We're going to sell them at... at, um, Oh, yeah, I have a speaking engagement tomorrow. It's a um, panel. It's called, like, Pretty and... 
pretty pink uh, world or something. I don't know the name of it. It's tomorrow? It's, it's tomorrow. It's on my Instagram. But I'm speaking on relationships and sex. I'm on the panel. And, um, yes, I'm going to get very So we need everybody to bring their, uh, like, extra $40 with them. Oh, that'll be cute. So we're going to release business. and sell the shirts there. Um, and it's just really just promoting love. You know, yeah. all love for everybody, not exactly. just intimate relationships, family relationships. Like, because it's important. And, and for me, you know, he thought of the idea, the name, everything. He created, um, he had someone create the logo for him. I was just proud to support him in that. Mm -hmm. But we were talking, and it was really like, you know, everyone deserves love. You know, Oh, like, yes, we do. A lot of stuff happened with Lamar, but that didn't mean that he should have stopped being loved, you know? and just so disrespected. I just felt like he was so disrespected because of his choices, but he still deserves love. I deserve love, you know, every, and everyone's love matters. Mm -hmm. And that was just the whole gist of it. And we just want to encourage that. Yeah, I think um, me um, moving to Atlanta and, like, really getting um, a, a, a taste of this black excellence. Mm-hmm. That they practice down here it just gave me a whole insight, and that's a whole different good. insight on um, black people and what we need as a family to start tradition and leaving a legacy. So, and Lamar, and not and, and going to something else. I mean, and you know, you are a lucky, blessed man. That's a fact. You know, all yes. what you've been through—the heart attacks, the this whole strokes. situation, the strokes. Yeah. I mean, you look at your life and able to walk and still talk clearly. Yeah, that's good. Right. Yes. Yeah. You know. Because when I woke up, I couldn't walk or talk. Yeah. yeah. So you are definitely a blessed man. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. And that's a turn on for me. I'm you know, sharing. I feel like I need that favor. Okay. You know, like, let me share some of that favor because for you to still be alive, like, God definitely has a plan for you. I'm yeah. just, like, trying to find my purpose. Well, that's good. Well, yeah. you got Sabrina here. I'm sure she could help you. You could find it. Yeah. You're on the right track. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of, like, weeding out, you know, the dead stuff. Yeah. and um, hanging out with all them. Old people, you don't need yeah. to be out on. Yeah. Uh, mm, the <laughs> true, you, you know your true friends because if they were there for you um, <laughs> up until this day, then that's who you're supposed to be with. If not, let right. them go. Yeah. Could you... Okay. Um. So, Lamar, so are, do you still talk to Rob? I mean, you know, y'all were close. He lived in your house. Yeah. Nah. Really? We, yeah, we don't. Yeah, just... We don't. I think that's like... um. One of the bad circumstances when relationships, you know. Did he give you some socks or anything? <laughs> <laughs> from his sock collection? <laughs> this dude is hit. So well. Yeah, but I just got, um, I just linked up with a company called um, Mic Drop. Mm -hmm. And they're going to um, train me to become like a motivational speaker. Yeah, because you definitely should do that. I mean, so because hell, all what you've been through. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that too. Yeah, he's been he's been doing well with that actually. Yeah, well that's good. So I mean, Sabrina, you clean him up, get him out there, honey, pick him dressed, go out and speak. Y'all yeah. can go on tour. Mm hmm Go together. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So well, Sabrina, Lamar, thank y'all so much. No, thank, thank you. you. Can I get my last part in the queue? I don't think so I can read it out. Where should we go eat right now? Somewhere well, y'all can go here. eat it. Well, we going to um I'm gonna go to lunch with my coworkers. We going probably to Papa Hose. I don't know. Papa Do's, Lamar. Oh. Oh. Papa Do's. Papa Do's. Papa Get the joke. What's up? Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, because they think he only dated white women, and that's Also, oh, really? You did? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I posted that, and I was like, no, he definitely dated Taraji. So, so Lamar... Because I was confused because I know a lot of people said that you only dated European women, and I thought you did too, but it was something I just read somewhere recently that you and Taraji P. Henson dated? Yeah. Y'all we were 12? <laughs> <laughs> well, nah, that was that was right before, it was actually right before Chloe. Re what? Yeah. I met, we didn't know nothing about that. She I didn't met, want y'all to know about that. Oh. Yeah, I met Taraji at a, um, at a HBO party. Really? Yeah. How long y'all dated? Um... Maybe for a couple of months, maybe like six months. And Chloe came serious. along and slipped her number. Because I know them <laughs> tramps, honey, them Kardashians. 
<laughs> Tell the truth and shame the devil. You can't, can't say that. Oh, you I mean, can't I, say that? I can't oh, okay. say it. You know, oh, okay. Chloe's a great person. I mean, we're going to keep Chloe nice. She's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, well, Lamar. But this is not my first experience with a, a, a beautiful black woman. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah. Yes, that's all right then. Mm-hmm. They say the black of the berry, the sweet of the... Um, coffee. <laughs> coffee is <the> juice. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, well, Lamar and Sabrina, honey, I'm just so happy honey, that you all decided to stop by honey, today to Thank spill this honey. delicious tea, honey, and clear things up. So be sure to grab the book Darkness to Light and more Dish Nation after the break. Do it again. Like that one good. Okay. So Lamar is a bring- Okay, so Lamar, now there has been some controversy. All right, so Lamar, there was some controversy recently over an Instagram post um, that you made expressing your love to Sabrina. Now, you basically said that it goes as this. It's just like when you've got some coffee that's too black, which means it's strong. And people felt that you were shading Chloe. So what was that about? And some people were saying that Sabrina's controlling your Instagram. No, no one's controlling my Instagram. I was just saying how I felt. I was, well, um, Sabrina has every woman far from removed from my mind. So I'm not even thinking about another woman or what she's doing. To me, it's interesting the perception people have because Lamar wants to post. Sometimes he's like, oh, post this. And I'm like, don't post me yet. You know, or don't put this on your on, on your page because I know how people are thinking. But like, he's excited about sharing me. You know, and I don't know why that's so weird. You know, it's so unusual that a man is excited about his woman but he curates his own captions. You know, if anything, I'll say read it to me so I can I see if it sounds good. I think it's just because of um, because it's me. People don't expect me to do that. I think because I never, of the way he's operated his relationships previously is yeah, yeah. different. Mess with a woman it's different, but I'm front. different, so I come. I expect different. Exactly. So now, also, um, now there's a docu series or something that you all are working on that you're going to be working on, Lamar. Yeah, that I've um. Basically based on me and the, and the healing process with my children. Hopefully it'll get picked up by, like, Netflix or something like that. Mm. Uh, so, Sabrina, have you met his kids? I have. Oh, I have good. several times um, in Miami. We were just all in L.A. together. Um, and I'm kind of an advocate for him really bridging that gap between yeah, his yeah. children. We, I, t- we took my daughter to the club in Miami. We did. Really? That and was she crazy She just turned 21 me. a few what? days ago. Yeah, made my but he got to hurt. see that she's grown. <laughs> she's a grown woman, mm. you know, and... I just wanted her to see, I, I know she's been through some trauma, but um, I talked to her and expressed to her that, you know, I'm just like you. I had a father that, you know, didn't do the best that he could, and I desired him, so I understand. And my job is to help him bridge that gap, not to steal him away from you. Exactly. I um, mean, I just want her to understand that. And I know over time she will. She's been through a lot with him. Um, but I'm an advocate for, you know, be a parent first. Yeah. You know, because that's what matters. Kids matter. Exactly. Kids need their parents, and, you know, kids grow up to be grown-ups. Yes. And then they put you in the nursing home and don't come visit you. Yeah. (laughs) You don't want that. that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I better have a wife by then. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Okay. Energy. Yeah. Energy, Lamar, and energy for me, too. Want me to stand up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? He, he promoted the book. It's his book. Okay. No, so we could go up. This oh, I also want to say our Instagrams. Yeah, I'll put that in there, too, before we go to the last part. What kind of food they got at Papa Do? Seafood. You've never been to Papa Do? Seafood. Well, don't say it. What time is it? Y'all eating seafood? Twelve. Yes. Is it twelve? Okay. What about my tea? Can you guys plug my detox tea? Yeah. Go ahead. Hold on. So, uh, so okay. No, I probably could put it in there. So, um, People probably so, wonder how I make money. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, Sabrina, not only um, do you help Lamar, you know, and get him in shape and clean and all that stuff. So, you also have a, a detox. Um. I do. Situation? I have my own fitness company, and my biggest seller is my detox tea. It's a fat loss supplement. 
and it's called Sabrina's Detox Tea. Oh. And everyone needs it. I use it because mm-hmm. when I drink or I eat bad or I'm bloated or whatever, it flushes it right out of me. Um, and it's done very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, it works very good. Lamar loves it. Yeah. Um, and you kind of get addicted to it, and it's natural. So tastes you can use too. it every day. Really? It well, good. I'm going to need some because I'm in my little bloating stomach, honey. You can yeah. drink it cold it, or hot. Oh, yeah. really? Yes. Nice. It comes pre-made, or you can make it as a hot tea. Um, and it's just, it just helps you a little bit, you know, so you can live your life and indulge guilt-free. So how can people find it? On my website is getuptopar.com. Oh, okay. That's easy. Also- getuptopar.com. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. Par uh, Lamar. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's our um, new hashtag. Can you go to the last part I of the rapper? To, um, Thank you, darling. You start using that. What? Our new hashtag. We got to get that on the shirt. 